Welcome back little monkey fans! It's Mandy here and today we're gonna go way up to the treetop toy box for a Lego Batman movie build! I am super excited about these awesome sets. We have three Lego Batman movie blind bags. I totally hope we get this Batman here because he is like the kiss Batman. That is so awesome! And we have set 70902, Catwoman Cat Cycle Chase. That's kind of a tongue twister. And this is just a super cute little set. Comes with a little building. And Robin, Batgirl, and Catwoman. Ooh, she's stolen a gem. And check out her cat cycle. It is wicked awesome. And finally, we have set 70909, the Batcave Break-In. This set looks amazing! Look at all the different features that it has. Like Batman's supercomputer, a jail cell, Alfred, of course, the bat boat. <laughs> Look at these cute little penguins! They have these backpacks that have weapons on them. Awesome! But I have to be honest, the whole reason why I got this set was for two reasons. One was for the penguins duckmobile, because it's totally awesome. And I totally wanted the bat suit that is gold and glittery. Look at this! <laughs> I love it! And we get a whole bunch of characters with this set. Batman, Bruce Wayne, his butler Alfred Pennyworth, the penguin, two hench penguins, the bat pack bat suit. I think he's supposed to be like a lounge singer, kind of like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin. But I love it! It's gold and sparkly. The scoo bat suit. So it's like a scuba suit. And the raging bat suit, which is his boxing bat suit. And the last three aren't really characters, they're just different outfits that Batman can wear. Which is nice, because being a superhero, it's good to have options. I am super excited to see these sets all put together. Well, let's get building! And here's our first set all put together. And it looks like we have one of our first blind bags. So let's start with that and see what we get. And here's the pamphlet of all the different types of Batman characters that we can get. <laughs> what is that Batman with a lobster on a plate? So funny. And here she is all put together. She's the March Harriet. Kind of like a March Hare, which is another name for a rabbit. I think she's supposed to be a bad guy, but she's kind of cute with her bunny ears. And her accessory is a Tommy gun. And her hat will come off, but she does not have another face. She just has the one face in front. Adorable! Yeah, she stick him up. Now, now, March, be nice. And here's Robin. I love his little goggles. And he has on his traditional Robin costume. You'd think they would have put shorts on him instead of just a little underwear piece. <laughs> but he has two faces. He has his happy face. And if you pop off his hair, his goggles actually come off too. So there's his happy face. Then he has his, aww, not so happy face. He's cute but tough. Next, let's take a look at Batgirl. I love her outfit. I love the color. And she again is in more of a traditional looking type costume for Batgirl. And I think it's really neat how they have her hair poking out the back of her bat hat. And she comes with a Batarang accessory. But again, just like Robin, although it kind of looks like she has a hood on, she also has a second face. Oh, that's not a nice face. We'll leave it on the happy face. Let's take a quick peek at our building that comes with this set. Comes with a sign, cat jewelry, so hmm, I wonder who's going to be showing up later. And this light post is kind of neat because it's on a little hinge here where it can go up and down. So you can have it pretend like one of your characters comes along and is like, hiya! It's because I'm super strong! Yeah! And then there's a little help poster for this lost little kitten in a garbage can. And there's no back to the building, as you can see, it's just open. And it comes with two gems, diamond and a ruby. And this door will open and close. But we'll close it because the shop says that it's closed. But hey, where's Catwoman? I thought she was going to be here. There she is! Right on time! Let's take a closer look at her amazing cat cycle. So it has these really cool rubber wheels and it rolls really well. And the detail on this motorcycle is pretty amazing. 
like the engine block. She's got her exhaust pipes here. Love the purple headlight, totally matches everything. And her accessory that she came with is her whip. And I just put it in the front of the motorcycle here, but that'll just pop out. And here she is, love her outfit. She has her utility belt. Look at, check out this cat zipper that she has on the front of her outfit. Some elbow pads, and then the back. And she also has a double-sided face. So who? she's angry. I think it's really neat how her eyes kind of look like cat eyes, but you can still see them through her helmet. And that's our Catwoman Cat Cycle Chase set. So long, Robin and Batgirl. Better luck next time. Hey, did she just steal that ruby? I think so. Quick, after her. Hmm, oh well. And finally, here is our Batcave break-in set. This set is amazing. It has so many awesome features about it. But it looks like we have our last two blind bags. Let's open those up first. I think I know who we got. Let's put it together. We have Nurse Harley Quinn. I love her. She is adorable. I really like her double pigtails. So cute. And she has a little nurse's hat and her nurse's outfit. I think it's really cool that she has pink hands. Like it's like she's wearing pink gloves. So very girly. And her accessory is a clipboard for Arkham Asylum. And it says H plus J, Harley plus the Joker. Let's open up our last blind bag. I have no idea who this is. Let's put them together. And we got Orca. And that's what he is. He's an Orca, he's a killer whale. 
if you pop off his head, you can see that he doesn't have a face. It's just a mouth for the orca, which is pretty cool, actually. And there he is. Cool. It's too bad we didn't get the glam metal Batman, but that's okay. Maybe next time, right? So now let's take a look at our set here. Well, let's start with the penguin and his hench penguins. These little hench penguins are just adorable. And they come with this really mean looking backpack and it has a saw for a weapon and a grappling hook or a grabbing arm and then a light on the back. And I don't know if that's supposed to be like a rocket pack or not. The only bad thing about these little penguins with their backpacks is that they're really heavy and they fall over easily because they're so heavy on the back. Next, let's take a look at the penguin. He comes with his signature top hat and umbrella. And I really like the fur detailing that he has on his collar. It's funny though, because he is quite short, <laughs> just like in the comics. And he does not have a double-sided face. And lastly, let's take a look at his duck mobile. I love this thing. <laughs> it's so cool. There's a little lever here. It goes up and down. There's a propeller on the back. It spins pretty good. It's got these great rubber wheels. It rolls really well. And he comes with a ton of ammo. And these ones will shoot. Let's try it out. You just push. Mm, not very well. <laughs> let's try that again. So then you just push them out. That one's kind of a dud. These ones don't really fire out, nor do these ones. But in the front, they do have some of these ones that usually shoot really well. So let's try that. Fire! And there it goes. <laughs> so those shoot really good, but it's kind of hard to get to if this is still in place. That's the only unfortunate thing about the placement. Otherwise it looks very tough and very mean, while at the same time looking very cute and adorable. There's Penguin and his duckmobile. Next, let's take a look at Batman's boat Riptide. This thing looks like a wicked fast speedboat, that's for sure. It's got a motor in the front, a jet motor in the back, a couple guns on each side, some guns in the front, and Batman, of course. I prefer to be called the Dark Knight, if you don't mind. Oh, sorry, Dark Knight. No problem. And here's Batman in his bat costume has his utility belt, his armor, his bat hood, utility belt on the back, and just like our other characters, he has a double-sided face. It's actually kind of neat how when you take off his helmet, uh, the light up bat eyes are on top of the normal face. But there's his non-happy face and his surprised face or even more unhappy face. There's not much inside, but there is quite a bit of room for your character. You could probably fit Batman and maybe Robin in there at the same time. But if we take a closer look at these guns again, you can see we have two on this side and two on the other side. And these shoot just like the penguins. Oh, they'll shoot pretty good. The neat thing about this boat, these little orange pieces right here, those are actually missiles or torpedoes. I'm not sure. But to shoot them, you push down right here, right behind the engine. Whoa, those shoot really good. Let's try that again. So to load them up, you just stick the orange piece in and they're just spring-loaded. Those shoot really well. What do you expect? I only have the best. You're right, Batman. Only the best for you. And there's Riptide and Batman. And lastly, let's take a look at the Batcave. This is where Batman keeps all of his extra outfits. And it's really cool because it even rotates around. So if you did have other suits, you could put them here. So each of these extra outfits, they don't actually come with faces. They just come with blank white heads. He also comes with a cape. I love his little bat shorts. Next is my favorite suit, the gold bat suit. So I actually was hoping that he would be more sparkly, a little bit glittery. He's just the gold coloring with some white speckle on the sleeves and on the front to look like sparkles. But his cape is very gold on the inside and very shiny. So I really like that. And I really like that he has a matching golden bat helmet <laughs> with a pink bat tie. So then Batman can be like, Dunka Shane, darling, Dunka Shane. And there's the golden bat suit. Next is his scuba suit. So if we pop him off, you can see that he does not come with a cape for this one, but he does have his standard utility belt. And then also a little mouthpiece for a breathing apparatus. And his suit comes with flippers. And those are just on the bottom of the rotating section. And there's his flippers. And there's all of Batman's extra outfits. I guess you could say it's Batman's closet. 
into the back corner, we have our jail cell. And the doors will pop open. So you could put any kind of henchman in there or anything like that. And the really neat part about this is this little knob here. If you turn it back, you'll actually pop out the back. So it's like they can bust out of jail. And here it is from the back side. So you just turn it and it busts open. And then to put the piece back in, it just snaps into place. And in the center, we have two more characters, Bruce Wayne and Alfred Pennyworth. Let's take a look at Bruce Wayne first. So here he is. He's in his fancy white tux. And he also has a double-sided face. He's kind of like, hey, ha ha ha. Next, we have Alfred Pennyworth. Bruce Wayne's and Batman's longtime friend and butler. And he comes with a glass accessory. What's really neat about his outfit is he has some fabric tails on the bottom of his coat. And I love the fact that he has a bald head. I think that's so funny. And that can pop off if you want him to be totally bald. But he does not have a face on the back. Just a bald head. And there's Alfred. In the very center is the command center for Batman. And on the bottom of the base here is this little ledge. And this actually will raise up and down. And I think that's how Batman or Bruce Wayne gets onto his platform here. And this also swivels around. He has lots of access from any side. For his control panel, he has his super comfy seat here. The back will go up and down and it swivels really well. On the right hand side, and there's some control panels and some buttons cup of coffee. On the left side, more buttons and control panels. This button right here says emergency shutdown. So Batman will push that and it'll shut everything down. Just above his control panel are his computer screens. These you can actually move back and forth, these side pieces. They're a little bit stiff. And you can see Batman's computer screen and all the things he's keeping track of. Looks like, oh maybe that's for the bat signal. Some readings here, uh, a pretzel? His pretzel level is starting to get low. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, his bat playlist, that's important. Need his music. Uh-oh, danger, danger. Penguin on the loose. Oh, his levels for his torpedoes and his bat boat. They're looking good. And more readings on this side. And his bat cowl or bat helmet readings are looking good as well. And on the top, there's this walkway here that Batman can take to get behind his screens here and along to the other side. A really neat thing behind Batman's control panels are these two sections here with the little turning knobs. If you turn them, <gasps> batterings! He's got some weapons hidden, just in case. And finally, on the very right side of our set is this little turntable here. And it's really cool because what happens is, put Bruce Wayne on that, turn the knob and bam, I'm Batman. Hey Batman, that was a quick change. Thanks. So that's an awesome feature. You can put any one of your Batman outfits in there and Bruce Wayne can do a quick change into it. sets put together. Little monkey fans, do you remember what is the name of Bruce Wayne's butler? Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We've opened now for toys!